Okay, so this is the final module. Congratulations if you made it. You're still here. Well done. <laughs> so now we're looking at how we can export music from Ableton Live to share with all our friends and family. I find it works well to get everything from session view into a range view. So if you've been working in this view, jamming out some loops, record the arrangement as previously discussed in previous lessons in this course, it's then a lot easier to bounce out an arrangement. It's not impossible in here, but it's a bit harder. So I flipped over into range view. We're gonna use the loop function up here, the, the range to highlight the area we want to export. Now we're gonna press command shift R, which is the shortcut. You can do this going up to file and export audio and on windows it's control shift R. So the render, is basically what do you want to export? You can export the master, which is the sum of all the tracks, which is what we want to do. But you can go in and do the individual tracks or certain tracks just from this drop down. The render start and length is the duration of the render, and that is dictated by what we did just a second ago with the loop window. Just double check, see it goes up to 30. Then all these rendering options here, you want to turn off. Sample rate, usually 44.1 is good, or 48 is what we're monitoring it in. So we can do that, just depends on where you're transferring it to. It's good practice just to keep it 44.1. Hey, hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to dive deeper into the world of Ableton Live, why not check out my full Ableton Live course? We'll not only cover all the awesome things Ableton Live can do, we'll look at writing and producing a track from scratch. Then we'll look at how we record vocals, then mix it and master it ready for release. So if that's the sort of thing you're interested in, click the links below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's get back to the video. Now PCM is basically how, what file format do you wanna use? So we wanna use WAV 24-bit industry standard. That's our high res output. So this is good for if you wanna send it to a mastering engineer, or if you want to release it on say Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, all that. Now. MP3, if we turn that on, MP3 is a smaller file size and lower res. Why would we export that? What's the benefit of it? It's really easy to share. So this is quite good if you're collaborating with people on the internet, or if you just want to send it to yourself. If you export as just a WAV, you're probably going to have to use something like WeTransfer because it's such a big file format that it's not that easy to share. So MP3 is just a great way of sharing music. Hence why you download, we used to download MP3s. It's a lot smaller file size, a lot quicker to download, lot just more economical to share. But the compensation of that is you degrade the audio slightly. Think of it like Instagram. You upload a really high res image. Instagram compresses it. If you were to like take a screenshot of Instagram and put it up on a billboard, even though it was a high res image at the start, if you blew it up, it'd be like you'd have all digital artifacts. It looked all, it would look all blurry. Anyway, so we go export asks us where to send it. I'm gonna do it to the desktop, save. And it does it offline. This is it rendering it and it's done. There we go. So now if we come out of Ableton Live, go to go to the desktop, we have two files here. So this is the most important thing. This is the thing I always say to all my students when I'm teaching at university. If you're doing an exam, you're handing stuff in, well, just check it anyway. So just click on here. Make sure it's exported properly. That's it, you made it. Well done, congratulations. So happy you've completed this course. I hope you've enjoyed it and you've learned lots. Don't forget, if you'd like to dive deeper into any of these topics, I have a full Ableton Live course for you to check out. But only take that up when you feel you've really mastered all the basics. Anyway, thanks again. Hopefully see you in a class again sometime soon. Bye for now.